Afternoon guys, welcome to Up The Reds, uh, my match day review of West Brom 2, Barnsley 2 last night. Uh, got the shades on, it's a lovely day, and needed the shades for our first half yesterday, because uh, that were pretty good yesterday in the first half. Probably the best we've played all season. Um, get on to the game in a minute. Uh, team news was uh, Collins in goal, Bambo, Mads Anderson came in for Harmer. And Civic, uh, Jacob Brown left wing back, Dimitri Cavare uh, right wing back, Kenny Dougal holding with Mowat and McGeehan again, and Chaplin and Woodrow up top. And um, boy, that first half it worked, it, it was fantastic. Counter attacking football, um, great movement, defensive security again with the three. Um, Cavare had a fantastic first half. Uh, Energy all over the pitch, uh, just energy all over. The desire to get a result there against all odds. I mean, the odds were crazy last night. I think uh, West Brom were one to eight to win. So that puts into perspective what people thought were going to happen last night. In my uh, match preview, I thought that we, you know, I wanted us to compete, but I didn't expect any kind of result there at all. And it's uh, it's testament to the way Adam Murray's got the team set up. Is uh, they're doing the they're doing the simple things very well. Um, it broke down the second half a little bit. Um, Bambo had a slight positional error. It was unfortunate on goal. Um, but you know, then after that, the pressure told. Just after that, Kenny Dougal couldn't last any longer either. And with no light for light replacement on the bench. Um, the the holes in midfield really started to appear. So even though at two 0 at half time, um, completely ecstatic and would have liked to win that game, uh, we we could have lost that game at the end due to the the lack of midfield cover. Uh, bringing bringing Wilts on for um, Kenny Dougal just didn't. It, you know, Wil Wilts doesn't work very hard. In defensive areas, um, for me, he would only be brought on in case one of the front two wasn't wasn't functioning, or there was an injury, or something. Um, but yeah, I, I, you know, it was unfortunate that we just couldn't. Once the stem came, we couldn't stem the flow after a while, and uh, I think if we look back on that. If we if we look back on that and we stay up, I think we'll see that as an awesome point. It were it it were a good performance. Um, Mads Anderson looked great actually. He came in, he did, did nothing wrong. Uh, again, he looked more supported in the three. Uh, Civic was okay. Um, Bambo was Bambo, uh, fantastic. The the two fullbacks gave it absolutely everything. Um, the formation puts Mowat in positions where he can affect games and influence games. It was a lucky to score as well with a, a volley in that in that half. And you know it, the, the performance was really really encouraging, especially with uh, and what what we have to class as a six pointer on on Saturday against Huddersfield. Huddersfield have turned the form under the Cowleys, but so I, I think we've turned our form under Murray um, I think it's a bit early to say whether Murray's going to get this job full time or not um, but certainly he's doing everything he can the players are working for him very hard and every player looks better and more confident and two points against arguably the two best sides in the league put leads in that as well um, confidence must be must be high. So we go to the field on Saturday, and I think we look we need to be looking to win. We need to be looking to win now, not not draw, not not a defeat, you know, and oh, hold his head up. We need to we need to win now. Um, looking at the team, everybody came through okay. Dougal got pulled after 70 minutes, but I think that's a precautionary thing because he wants him as well. For the weekend, 
Um, so, and, and Dougal is critical to this system. Absolutely, absolutely vital. And if we can get another central defensive midfield player in to give him a break as soon as possible, the better. If it's a freebie, anyone, just, just to take... If he can't last 90 minutes, then having someone on the bench who can do the same job, even if it's an older player, just for 20 minutes, has got to be worth doing. I was a bit surprised that Styles wasn't um, on the bench. He did start for the under-23s, as I mentioned in the preview, and that surprised me a little bit because he is the only one who can sit like that and do the same job as Dougal positionally. So that was a bit surprising. But overall, um, Murray's tactics are good. The selections are good. Um, I'm happy. I'm very happy. Looking forward to the weekend. I've not looked forward to the weekend for a long time. Fingers crossed we get, we're get positive at the weekend. But, you, you know, you look forward at the fixtures. I think we've got Middlesbrough coming up as well. We've got Stoke coming up. Um, we've got Bristol City home as well. And... Even though, you know, there are, every side in this league has da- is dangerous, um, but I certainly feel more happy going into those games, looking at his defensive structure. So we we move forward, and and you know, long may this optimism continue. Um, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll I'll do a match preview again on Friday for the Huddersfield game. Um, if you like this video, like, sh- uh, share, and subscribe. Uh, I'm also on Twitter and things like that, so any feedback is much appreciated. So, uh, up the Reds.